Hello, today I'm going to test the live well system on this boat for leaks. Those of you that have watched some of my other videos know that I've recently purchased this, this boat on Facebook Marketplace and I haven't had it out on the lake yet. I've currently got the motor out and uh, it's got an inboard motor so it's a lot easier to get to that live well plumbing with the motor out of the boat and I want to test that for leaks because I don't want to do a leak test when I'm out there on the water for the first time. So what I've done is uh, on the live well, on the live well hoses, I want to see if, if there's any leaks in that system. I've gone over the clamps and everything that I, that I have, but up underneath the length of the boat, um, it's hard to know if there's a, a hole in any of that plumbing. So we're checking, checking that now. And then what I did is where these hoses come for the live well system, there's the water inlets right here. And what I've done is plugged both of those water inlets and I'm gonna put water in the live well and test them for leaks. I found some plugs uh, that I ordered and that allowed me to, to plug, plug that off. And so I've installed those plugs and I put water in there and gonna test for leaks. And what I've done here on the front is I've gotten my water hose and I, I turned it on and filled this live well all the way up above the overflow and above the inlet. And that way I've got um, all the hoses and everything full to the rear of the boat. I also pulled the cover for the drain so I could look in there and see if there's any leaks noticeable coming from my front live well. Um, I've also got the boat tilted up at an angle. So if there was any water leaking there, I would see it drain to the rear of the boat. And um, I think uh, with this boat, with having the motor out, it's definitely uh, easier to get to the live well system on that. But on any bass boat that you're unfamiliar with and it has the live well system, you can have the potential for a lot of leaks, especially if you just bought this one like I did and you don't know the history of the boat, haven't had it out on the water. Um, it's a good way to test your live well system, see if you've got any leaks and get it fixed before you go out on the water. All right, I've got some water in the rear live well, and so we're gonna check that for leaks. I can help shine that and, and see if I've got any leaks. And sure enough, it looks like um, I do have a leak, a leak looks like in that rear live well. I wasn't inspect, expecting that. Um, it looks like it's actually in the fiberglass. So it's, it's good that I found that now with the motor out. So we'll uh, work on getting that uh, repaired and then see if we can't find any any more leaks after we get that fixed. Okay, I got this fiberglass repair kit by made by Bondo and it's got fiberglass resin and materials to do the repair. Um, I will put a link to the product in the description so if you're doing something similar if you're interested in that product go ahead and look at that description and click on the link. Yeah, I used some masking tape to kind of tape around the holes Per the instructions that come with the kit, you're supposed to allow one to two inches extra around the damaged area that you're going to repair and then use 80 grit uh, sandpaper to uh, take it down, take remove the gel coat and take it down to the fiberglass so you get some good adhesion. I'm going to use my drill and uh, my 3M 80 grit scotch Bright pad to take it down there to the fiberglass and get started. Okay, here's the inside of the live well. As you can see that uh, large holes where the drain was, it was leaking. I went ahead and removed that and we're gonna fiberglass over that hole. And then in the corner on the right-hand side, you can see the uh, damaged area. That's also where uh, there was a leak. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of both of those items. Okay, we saw during the leak test um, that the fiberglass tank was leaking. There's an area uh, where there's a little bit of damage. You can see it on, on the inside of the tank and that's where there's, there's the biggest leak coming from. Um, there was also a leak around this drain that was bottom of, on the bottom of the live well. Uh, apparently the previous owner had installed this extra drain in the live well 
and plugged it into the overflow system and it's leaking and it's not supposed to be there so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that and fiberglass over that hole. Okay, I'm continuing the uh, leak repair for the live well system. Um, I removed the added on drain and patch the hole that was there. I also patched the hole in the live well. And then now I'm gonna go through and redo some of the, uh, the plumbing to the live well. I reconnected the front live well to the overflow drain. It had, was previously disconnected. That's where they tied in um, the aftermarket sink drain that they put in that I removed. So now that that's patched over, we plugged in the front live well uh, like it needs to be. I'm just assuming that they weren't using that front live well and just rigged up the, the rear live well to work with that drain. Um, but I want to be able to use both live wells, so I rehooked up the overflow. Um, I've previously replaced both live well pumps, and uh, now I'm hooking up the drains uh, the way that they should be. I've got both inlet hoses coming uh, from one inlet, and then this T was leaking, so I'm going to replace that T, and then I'm going to um, T in the drain for the other live well. And uh, with this system, well, the way it works, uh, as long as you've got the, the drains plugged in the live wells, you can fill them up. The overflow will work great. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to hook it up that way. So I'll get started. Just disconnect that so it's easier to get up and work with. There it is. And now we're going to replace that T. A little stiff. I'm going to hit them with my heat gun, warm them up a little bit, that way they'll come apart easier. Just want to warm it up with just a little bit, don't want to melt the hoses. Oh yeah, it comes apart. Much better. Okay. That over, see if I see any old cracks in it. Not seeing any cracks in it. it might, might have just been a small pinhole that I can't see. Or possibly uh, a hose issue, but we'll get it changed out with a new one. And already uh, doing this method, I found several leaks. I found a surprise that the actual live oil tank in the rear uh, had a crack in it and needed the fiberglass repair. And uh, also a couple of the hose fittings were, uh, were leaking. So I put the new hoses on there, but now I've got it filled up. Everything looks good. So I'm ready to put that motor back in and be sure that I'm not gonna have any unexpected leaks from the live oil system when I get it out on the water. Now, if you, uh, you can look at the description and I'll have some links down there to maybe some of the products that I use in case you want to do a similar project. And if you like, uh, like what you see, please like and subscribe. We've got more videos coming.